In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called using a given zero to write a polynomial as a product of linear factors, complex zeros. We're given a polynomial here, f of x, and we're told one of the zeros is negative two, and we're asked to write f of x as the product of linear factors. And I can do that once I find all of the zeros. We're given one of those zeros, so I can start by doing either long division or synthetic division with the given zero that I have. And while both work, for this example, I will use synthetic division. My leading coefficient here is one in the original f of x. I don't have an x squared term, so I will put a zero in for that term. And then there is a 46 and a 100. And since I'm given that zero of negative two, I can start the synthetic division by first bringing down the one. Negative two times one is negative two. Adding gives us a negative two. Negative two times negative two is a positive four. And again, adding gives us 50. And then negative two times 50 gives us a negative 100. So it does divide in evenly. And from here, since the minus two is a zero, then I can rewrite f of x as x minus a negative two, or x plus two. This is the term that will give us a minus two as the zero. And looking at the last line in our synthetic division, this would give us a leading coefficient of one, so a x squared, so a one x squared. The next is minus two, so minus two x, and then 50 would be plus 50. We've completed the first step in writing it as linear factors. However, that second part, the one that I have here in green, still needs to be broken down further. So to find those zeros, I can use the quadratic formula. Here my b is negative two, so a negative b would be two plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative two squared is four, minus four times a, here my a is one, times c, and here my c is 50, and this is over two times a, or two times one. And now having made that substitution, I can simplify here. Underneath the radical, this would be four minus, four times one times 50 is 200, and this is over two. Simplifying further, under the radical, four minus 200 is a negative 196. And then to simplify that radical, I see a negative underneath, so I know I'll have an i. And 196 is a perfect square. The square root of 196 is 14. So I can simplify. The square root of 196 is 14. Since it's negative, that would come out as a negative 14 i. Again, i because it is a negative under the radical. And then lastly, I can separate these, dividing both the first part and the second part by two. We would have one plus or minus seven i. So we found two more zeros. We have one plus seven i and one minus seven i. Looking back at our instructions though, we're not looking for the actual zeros, we're looking to write f of x as a product of linear factors. We've already identified one of those linear factors as x plus two. And since we have these other zeros, I know that one of the factors will be x minus that first zero, so minus a one plus seven i, and the other one, will be x minus the second zero, which is a one minus seven i. I use the parentheses just to make sure I didn't make any mistakes with the negatives that I'll need to distribute. And when I distribute the first negative, I would have x minus one minus seven i. The second is x minus one plus seven i. This is our function f of x, written as linear factors. I just needed to find each one of the zeros, the one given, and the other two that I had to calculate to write it as linear factors. 